Bearing the scars of climate change, the increasing acidification of our oceans causes coralline algae to produce thinner, calcified skeletons. But what is making the sea more acidic? The answer is simple, carbon dioxide. It's well known that CO2 emissions are increasing atmospheric temperature, but some of those emissions are also absorbed by the world's oceans, over a third to be exact. Around 70% of the surface of the globe is covered by salt water, which is also a gigantic reservoir of carbon dioxide. But increasing levels of CO2 are altering the water's chemical balance. What's happening? The carbon dioxide dissolves and reacts with the water to produce carbonic acid. This, in turn, acidifies the sea. By the end of the 21st century, scientists say pH levels will have dropped lower than at any other time in the 650,000 years that preceded the Industrial Revolution. With devastating impact for many types of coralline algae, but also for other marine animals such as cold water corals, sea cucumbers, and some species of tiny marine snails. Their shells can dissolve in acidic seawater. Scientists have supplied the proof. They simulated the concentration of absorbed carbon dioxide expected in our seas in the year 2100, and the aquatic snail's protective shell dissolved within two days. If these tiny creatures disappear, this will have a knock-on effect on other animals. Fish and seabirds would have to find new sources of food. And the acidification of the seas is also making them louder. Under normal conditions, vibrations, caused for example by breaking waves, are absorbed by minerals present in the water. This benefits marine life and keeps lines of communication clear. But acidification is diluting the concentration of these minerals, thereby increasing underwater noise levels. That, in turn, can disrupt animal communication. Researchers predict that ambient noise levels in the oceans will rise dramatically over the coming decades.